So it's official, in just a couple days there will be no more hunters left to come into the game as far as we know. It looks like the final hunter is going to be none other than Ant-Man. In yesterday's video I mentioned that there was going to be a new Marvel skin because the Marvel files had been updated and sure enough we get Ant-Man. We had Ant Manor earlier last season. I thought this skin might have been coming last season, but better late than never. Now that we've got the final list of all hunters Jonesy has brought from all known universes, I want to go through that list and see what might happen later in this season, what kind of perks these hunters provide, and whether or not I think they can actually prevent individuals from escaping the loop this season. That seems to be the goal for most people. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily Fortnite content, especially heading into the leaks and the new season we've got in just about 10 days. You're not going to want to miss any content. Also, if you're feeling extra glamorous, make sure to use code PINEAPPLESYT in the Fortnite item shop anytime you make a purchase. And even if you're not making a purchase, just throw it on there. Send me a picture on Twitter. I'll hit you with a retweet. So yes, like I said, Ant-Man is confirmed to be the final hunter for this season and his portal is already opening in game. If you go look through it, this is what you can see. Makes a lot of sense for Ant-Man's portal. With Ant-Man's recent addition, it looks like this is the list of different hunters Jonesy has brought in after the season started, so I'm not counting any of the Battle Pass skins like the Mandalorian because those were there when the season started, but obviously they count too. Let me know if I'm missing any, but I think we've got Predator, the Walking Dead skins, Master Chief, Kratos, Street Fighter skins, Ant-Man, Terminator slash Sarah Connor, Snake Eyes, The Flash, Alien slash Ripley, Tron, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and Taskmaster. Several of these collaborations have been two-in-ones, you know, like the Sarah Connor and the Terminator set, and the Walking Dead skins, where you get Daryl and Michonne. Those are two skins in one collaboration. So that brings the total of post-season hunters brought in to 18. 18 very capable people in the mind of Agent Jonesy, who he specifically brought in to help stop the attempts of people escaping the loop, which I'm sure is going to happen over the course of the next couple days leading up to the next season. You've got some legends in there. I mean, Master Chief, Kratos, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, just to name a few, but these guys are all very strong. If you've watched any of the shows or movies where they've come from, you'll know. For some reason, I'm getting vibes from last season. If you remember last season, you had a whole bunch of people that Thor brought in from other reasons realities to actually help stop Galactus. These people all had different powers, which during the Galactus live event were utilized. Iron Man played a big role with his abilities. So did Thor. So did Wolverine. So I wonder if we could get these characters, these new hunters in a live event, actually showing off their powers in some kind of battle or struggle against those trying to escape the loop. For example, maybe Ant-Man gets super small or super big. Maybe the Flash is running around really quickly. Maybe Master Chief even calls in other Spartans and the Pelican to come in and help fight against the people. You really never know, especially when it comes to Fortnite. They've already done some crazy outlandish stuff this season with how many collaborations they've incorporated this season. So I'm looking forward to everything and expecting anything as well. I'm going to make a bold prediction and I'm going to guess that there are going to be at least a couple people who manage to get outside the loop and we are going to be able to follow their adventures. I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it would either happen probably during a live event, uh, maybe even during a season trailer to start a new season where it explains everything, you know, like a storyline trailer. Maybe we just get stuff like reality logs, like we've been getting from Agent Jonesy on Twitter this whole season. Even something as simple as that, people giving us voice lines of life outside the loop would be incredible. And I really do think that Fortnite's story is really only getting started. If you look back at the history of Fortnite Battle Royale, it's roughly over three years and the story wasn't really relevant for the first little bit of the game either. And it looks like they've got so much to go and so much planned, so I'm really looking forward to the story. I've always loved the storyline more than most other parts of this game because of how unique and interesting it is. And of course, one of the major parts and key components to how Fortnite's been so successful managing their storyline is how often they do these live events. We had them so often after season four of chapter one, and in chapter two, we've only had two storyline events, and 
no, I don't count the Star Wars stuff, I don't count the Travis Scott stuff, it's not a storyline event, so in my mind, yeah, it's cool, but it's not as cool as it could have been. As far as a potential live event goes, I don't really know if we're going to get one. You know, every day that passes that we don't get some more information, some more leaks, I kind of grow a little bit more pessimistic about it, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Let's take a look at the calendar. Today, as I'm recording this video, it is Friday, March 5th, 2021. The season is ending on March 15th, and that likely means the new season, granted we don't get a black hole or something like that, would start the next day on March 16th. Now, we know events are pretty much only happening on weekends. That's at least been the way it's been for the most part. It could happen off of a weekend, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume it would be on a weekend, likely on a Saturday, likely at like 2 p.m. Eastern, as they've always done. If that's the case, that puts us eight days away from the potential event date, and that means tomorrow would put us one week away when they typically introduce the countdown timers and we know there is a countdown timer inside of the files that was leaked so who knows maybe that timer starts counting down tomorrow maybe it starts counting down later this week really nobody knows what's gonna happen but one thing is for sure something is gonna happen there's no way nothing happens and I mean I don't mean there's gonna be a live event I mean, at least there's going to be a storyline trailer that explains it, but I hope there's an event. I mean, there is a countdown timer, and that makes me think a lot of good things and a lot of good thoughts, but really, we don't know, and it could just as easily not happen. And the countdown could be for something unrelated to an event as well. That's possible. With all of the different collaborations and hunters revealed or yet to come out in Fortnite, it's an exciting time as we wrap up the end of the season. It's always a great time when you look forward to the new season. That's when hype starts to build and Fortnite starts to get back to some of their previous numbers from 2018 and 2019, even if just temporarily, and even if it's just temporarily, you know, raising the hype. But regardless, it's a good thing for the game. I love this game. I've been on this game for a very long time and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. So as long as that's the case, I'll be right here. So I do want to briefly just make this announcement on a video because a lot of people already know this from my streams and a lot of people are asking me questions, but caffeine is no longer going to be focusing on gaming. I've streamed on caffeine for over two years and I've absolutely loved the community that I built on caffeine. I'm not going to stop streaming. I'm going to be making a full announcement on where I'll be streaming after caffeine, but I will be streaming on caffeine until March 15th. That will be my final stream date. So I've got some really exciting stuff coming up. Really excited to share it with you guys. We're only just beginning this next chapter, which I'm thrilled for. But in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, my friends, take it easy and peace out.